Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Okay, Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, you see, they want to reveal themselves. Um, reveal their truth to you. We have the Five of Swords reversed. This is something they've been thinking about and overthinking and they don't want to, to be stuck in that cycle anymore. King of Swords reversed. Three of Swords reversed. Wow, all swords. Lots of thinking, lots of desire for communication, but every card so far is reversed because they're blocking themselves. They're standing in their own way because they're overthinking but also I think this is someone who is used to wearing a mask is used to saying things and doing things for other people's benefit which has left pain for them and for you in this situation um, and they were almost saying well I've got really good at wearing this mask and I'm not quite sure how to be more authentic gosh king of pentacles reverse the world in reverse Ah, one's upright, justice, that's really significant, and temperance reverse. Look at this. And then on the back, the Wheel of Fortune is upright. This is huge, okay. Th uh, we have three major arcana in a row, and then I suppose the Wheel of Fortune as well. Let's put this here. So, this looks like somebody who has some sort of commitment outside of your connection, whether there's a third party, you know, a karmic spouse, um could be a commitment to work but there is some way in which this person is saying i signed some kind of a contract whether it's on paper whether it's a moral contract an emotional one and you know if i'm honest with you i don't want to be here anymore i want to leave this and i want to be with you and i've been thinking about this for so 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 long even if your person's been thinking about it for one month they're saying it feels like an eternity for many of you it has been much longer than that and the world is reversed because they just feel they're so close to wrapping up their life as it is, wrapping up this situation that they're in where they have this, this other responsibility or commitment or contract um, and actually coming towards you. You see how when this is reversed, her body is facing towards this King of Pentacles, but her face is facing towards, you know, the future and what could be. So this is someone who is waiting for the axe to drop. You know, they're waiting uh to be free they're waiting for this ending waiting for themselves to come up with the way to get themselves out of this um okay justice being upright we've got libra here we've got sagittarius twice um your person is saying there's something here where i need i owe you some kind of communication i owe you some kind of clarity and it's not even just about it would be nice i want to there's something about this that feels like it's not moral for me to stay quiet. It, it doesn't align with my values and my ethics for me not to bring this communication to you. So I don't know what they held back in the past or what they did or um, said or didn't say, but there's something where they're saying it's balanced, it's karmically right, it's morally right that I come forward and I say such and such to you. Um, so we'll see what it is they need and want to say. Um, but yeah, it, it's, they want to, but it's more than that. It feels like a deep-rooted need, like this is the right thing to do. We have Temperance reversed with the Three of Swords reversed. Your person feels like without having this communication with you or this one particular conversation, you're both stuck in this place of not being able to quite reach balance, healing, transmutation, not getting to the peace and the rest of the Four of Swords, which you both deserve. I get the feeling your person would love a new start with you, but even if they can't have that, even if you don't want that anymore, they're saying, I still need to have this conversation with you. I still need to do something to balance things out, to bring about justice here. I need to make things right. Temperance can also be about, you know, being temperate, being patient, and they're saying, no, that time has passed. It's not even about patience anymore. It's about me finding a way to be brave and taking control here of myself and my life and my actions and got the five of pentacles in the back so they're feeling there's some some big distance between you let's have a look at this king of swords okay so seven of wands so maybe they ghosted you they blocked you out of the blue maybe they just kept resisting you or they kept trying to find ways to argue and to fight with you causing stress causing drama and you were left thinking gosh this person you know, they obviously don't want me in their life or they'd make more of an effort or they wouldn't be so hostile with me, but they want you to know, actually, I was uh, afraid. I was trying to keep you at a distance. Yeah, look, Page of Cups. The inner, the, the sort of the sweet, vulnerable, inner, emotional person in me, like the sort of inner child, I've locked in a, a cupboard, you know, to try and keep them safe and I sort of forgot them there and you were actually touching this part of me and it freaked me out, so I kept trying to push you away. 
Knight of Wands reverse, and I think perhaps in the past they covered up by making everything sexual or a joke or fun or, you know, not being reliable and committed with you, while at the same time you were seeing they fully had it in them to make commitments and it felt like doubly painful and insulting. And they want you to know, well, I can make commitments very easily if they're superficial. I can get married to someone and it can be emotionally superficial. They can never reach this part of me and I can be married to them and, and do my daily activities and things. But, you know, you were, were really getting to this core part of me that I've been trying to hide and that, that's a whole different story. So let's see what's going on over here. If you're interested in whatever this other situation is that it seems like is doing terribly, um, at least for your person emotionally, it's, it's not a good thing at all. It's terrible. Even if it's working very well in like a monetary sense or a practical sense. Look at that, you see, Nine of Swords, there we go. So it might be working fine practically, um, you know, money might be coming in, you know, responsibilities are shared, whatever it is, but look how your person feels inside. And this is why they know this isn't gonna change unless I stand up for myself, unless I speak my truth, because this situation is working for everybody else. Okay, so let's have a look at justice down here. Yep, Eight of Cups reverse coming back in. Why? Because you represent the Two of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups coming out. So I don't know if you've watched Monday's reading, but I would definitely suggest it. And if you're watching this at, you know, a random time, it would be the reading, uh, the collective general reading before this. So um, two days before this one comes out. Um, because we have the Queen of Cups in that reading in this same position here. Um, and we have the Two of Cups here reversed so i feel like this eight of cups is talking about them you know coming back saying where are those two extra cups i left behind where is my special two of cups connection so they want to say to you at the very least this person wants a chance to say to you look all along i, I did feel the same i know i didn't give you that validation but i truly understand this is special it was special to me i felt the same you know even if you're like well that's nice but i've moved on that they at least want to be able to say that Okay, Three of Swords with Temperance, please. Oh, look at that. You see, there we are. Back to that Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they do not like... I don't know if it's a full-blown, complete separation, minimal contact, communication, or you see each other every day, but it's very cold. Whatever it is, they're like, no, I don't like this anymore. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Let's move out of the Five into the Six of Pentacles, which is about reciprocity. Um, and I believe when we were looking at this King of Pentacles earlier and I turned the deck around, we had the Five of Pentacles or uh, sorry, Six of Pentacles, but I might have got a glimpse of it or something. Um, so all of this effort, practical effort in the 3D they've been giving over here, they're saying, no, I want to withdraw that and I want to give it to us, to me and to you. Um, so what I'd like to do is have a look at your person's highest hopes here because, you know, like I said, I keep getting at the very least, they just want a chance to tell you everything they're thinking, to make things right, to give you what you deserve. But what do they wish for? Like, what's best case scenario for your person in this situation? Okay, so my viewer's person, what do they wish for to happen in this connection? What's their um, biggest wish? What would be the perfect outcome for them? Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, oops, High Priestess, you know that looks very much like how things were, they weren't satisfied in life, you appeared, you were everything they were wishing for, so the universe delivered but they didn't see it or they were complacent, they weren't being a team player, they maybe flat out rejected you or you just decided at some point, look I've got to sort of pull back a bit. Um, and then with the High Priestess, that's them keeping everything to themselves. So what's their wish here? We have the Lovers reversed with the Nine of Cups reversed. Oh gosh, so they made a mistake. They chose the wrong person or the wrong thing in the past. We have the Page of Wands reversed. Seven of Coins reversed. So getting things moving. They're thinking about a false start or missed opportunities. Two of Wands reversed. Let's get one more. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, and look, the world in reverse on the back. I'm trying to see what their hope is here, but this is someone who is stuck looking, for now, at what's happened in the past, how things are now, how they got to this place, what role they have played, ways in which they wish they'd acted differently. So it's going to be difficult for this person to take um, action here 
while they're still so focused on what's already happened um because this was their opportunity to say what they really would love to happen and what they've done is rehash their regrets or their their realizations that they now have so they're very very close we keep getting this world card reversed but they're not quite there stepping into the energy of the fall which is this new beginning um so i don't know if these are new fresh realizations and they're kind of sitting with them for a while or if they're really having to pluck up their courage to take that step to make contact um, to deliver this message to you. Okay, let's get into some of these message cards. I just heard hyper, so I don't know if someone's hyper. You might think that your um, person is a bit hyper. I haven't heard that word for a long time. I suppose it's not really something that I, just me personally, I don't really associate it with adults because, um, I don't know, I guess the adults that I know aren't, aren't really that, you know, hyper. They're not sort of like overly energetic. I think of like a child that's had maybe um, too much sugar or something, but um, that's not to say I don't think adults could be hyper. I just don't really know any. Um, but yeah, so that came through. Okay. Oh, look, new chapter. There we are. I'm trying to move on. Yes. So they're trying to move on from whatever this King of um, Pentacles situation is. I've just realised my camera's been auto-focusing all along. Oh, gosh. I hope that's not been annoying. Sorry. Um, okay. So they're trying to move on and towards you. So they do want to have a new beginning. That is their focus. We have holding back. Yes, I should have expressed myself better. They should have done. And they're still saying, well... I still can, I still want to, even if it's too late to have a chance with you now, I still I still need to, I still, you know, intend to. Secrets, I haven't told you everything. See how their focus is on what they haven't shared with you and the effect that that's had on you, that's, you know, on this connection as well. Destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path and then we have unexpected outcome. Um, things didn't go the way I planned. Ooh. Yeah, uh, with the lovers reversed, Gemini energy there. They made a big, life-changing, in fact, decision, and it was the wrong one. That's like everyone's worst fear, isn't it? When you have to choose either or, and you choose, and, and you're like, damn, I chose, I made a mistake, I chose the wrong one. Um, and you might be saying, well, I think it was obvious. You know, <laughs> one decision was clearly better than the other. Um, so, you know, they can't be that surprised, but... Um, I don't know, maybe they were running from themselves and they finally, you know, have a better perspective on things now. Okay, what else does this person want to say to my viewer, please? Because it does feel like this is someone who had um, wounds or they considered themselves to have some kind of, like, issues or problems or things they didn't like about themselves and they weren't sitting with those things and facing them. They were doing everything to cover over and avoid... Um, maybe that's what that energy about being hyper is about so they're not necessarily they don't seem hyper maybe but it's like i've done this onto that onto that you know onto this now you know running from themselves basically okay i hope you're ready to make some major life changes quickly because i'm going to sweep you away think about simplifying your life as best you can because i anticipate this moving fast Whatever you just heard or are about to hear, if it hurt you, know it was not true. It's fake news and misunderstanding, or you're just not getting the whole story. Trust me, I'll explain later. I'm dealing with a stalker. It's a dangerous situation I don't want you to be involved with. As soon as I feel I have a handle on it and feel safe, I'll let you know. And we have... Wow, will you marry me? I'm serious. Okay, so that could be the, the major life um, decision or change that they're planning to make.
um, you check all of my boxes, how can that be possible? Yeah, it's like you appeared, you were everything um, that they could have wanted and they were a bit complacent or maybe outright cruel or mean to you in certain ways. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. Um, I know that I'm married material and I know deep down you know that too. Wow. Some of you, this person just seriously wants to marry you. And it's almost like they want to convince you I am marriage material. It would be a good um, investment. It would be a good decision, a good choice to make to say yes. Um, I'm afraid that if I come back into your life that I'll hurt you again. Okay. So... Um, I think we should end with an animal spirit guide message. Okay, so what message do you have please for my viewer spirit? Okay, we have a couple. We have Gorilla. Take some time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. So those you consider to be close to you might have some good words of advice for you. This could also be saying that this person will come forward and um, you're being guided by spirit to know that it's safe to listen, to trust, that you might feel best about yourself upon reflection if you you know, hold a compassionate space for them. It might be that some of you feel kind of annoyed even with this person and you want to snap at them, but if you allow them to say their peace, it might bring lots of healing potentially. Okay, we have Snow Leopard. Take some time out for your usual life and spend it in solitude. So this part about disconnecting from your phone, the computer, what you have to do, you know, your to-do list, all of that, and just taking some time to be by yourself in your own zone with your own you know thoughts and feelings um, and just you know feeling peaceful um i got something with this gorilla card something about excuses that you're used to your person coming towards you with excuses and you might be pleasantly surprised that actually they have no excuses this time you know they only want to, to acknowledge what's happened and to kind of um say things they should have said before and see if you can both move forward Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.